That's right, no BS in the title. I am really losing performance and I'm really going vegan. So welcome to the Baker Studio. Today I have two goals with this episode. I want to share with you my experience, uh, which is, I think it's, it's valuable for, for many of us. Uh, and secondly, I would love to hear from anybody who had same experience as me because I'm pretty surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit shocked maybe. Uh, but let me just explain what ha what's happening. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going back, I'm coming back to my training after like 15 years of a break, or more than 15 years. I'm 37 years old right now. Uh, and uh, this is my second season. So around 20, 28 months of training, feeling really good and everything just fine, good diet and so. Uh, this year I decided to make some, some improvements. So I'm improving my trainings. I'm training more, uh, more um, higher intensity. And I see on the races, because I'm racing on the mountain bike, uh, especially cross country, some, it's called here marathons in Poland, but these are very short, as you've noticed, like 20 kilometers. Uh, so cross country races, uh, I'm training on road bike mostly, racing on mountain bike and I'm doing it like three times uh, um, a month, so maybe one week off from, from races. Uh, and I've seen some great improvements, especially this, this year uh, in the results. What happens is that I'm also changing my diet and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I'm actually uh, eating, uh, but just a short background. Uh, I'm a healthy guy, I have no problems with, uh, with the weight. If I want to lose some weight for racing, I do, but I'm not focusing on it at all. Uh, I'm 182 centimeters tall and I weighed 74, 75 kilos. Uh, I've gained one kilo since I went completely, almost completely vegan. Uh, and the background is, two months ago, I've given up eating sugar. So we found with, with, with my wife all the products which are given added sugar, which was most of the products. So we've, got, we've cut that out. So my wife doesn't eat it too much uh, either. And that was a big change because I am, I have, I had to admit to myself, I am a sugar addict. It's, it's, it's true. I would just eat sugar. I can eat two chocolates in a row. Like, you know, no problem. I don't feel like having too much sugar or feeling, you know, full. Uh, so I've given up that and uh, the change was amazing. I'm going to do another episode about giving up sugar because uh, in terms of feeling energy and, and eating less, I, I felt much, much better. That was about two months ago. Now about four or five weeks ago, I decided to go almost uh, fully vegan. Now, I, we haven't been eating too much meat. Maybe twice a month we would eat a chicken. Um, for, for the lunch or so. Uh, so that wasn't really a lot, but a lot of milk every day for me. A lot of milk and a lot of cheese. So lots of milk and cheese every day, daily uh, for my eating. So that was the most drastic change. No milk, no cheese of any kind uh, in my life. So that was the change. What's happening? I just went to the race, uh, it was almost two weeks ago. You saw that race, it's there on my channel and then it's also um, some, some short episode when I'm commenting uh, the race. My performance was just, it's not, it, it wasn't only the performance, it was okay in terms of the energy. It was short race, 54 minutes, but uh, I was losing and losing and losing and losing and I just felt horrible. I never, I don't remember such a race feeling that horrible. I don't know why. The second thing is also that um, I don't feel energized. Uh, I feel kind of um, cold pretty often, which is, which, is, which is understandable because I'm eating less calories. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I'm losing performance. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that, what I already know, but then more questions than, than, than knowledge uh, about it. And um, since I'm working a lot here in the studio, doing reviews, some projects, trainings and so, uh, I decided to make a nap during the day, which works very well for me since I went vegan 
uh, when I make a nap, the, the, the nap can be an hour or two hours long. And when I wake up, no energy, no energy. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty energized guy. When I wake up in the morning, I don't use any watch clock, anything, alarm clock, no way. I just wake up like between 6 and 7 a.m. Boom, going to, uh, to do what I'm gonna do. And I just felt great so far. Now, low energy, low, I don't have the drive to do things, which is surprising for me. Uh, and also when I did that episode telling you I, was, I, I wanted to give it up that race, in some comments uh, there were some people writing me, Dan, go vegan, you will feel burst of energy, you will feel so much better. I just feel worse. And this is not a critic of veganism or people who are vegan or just anything. I, I decided to go vegan, period. Uh, I want to give up um, animal products, but it just doesn't work for me so far. So about four or five weeks. What I'd eat, so this is not full vegan uh, diet. The main energy source for me is rice, groats, more groats than rice so far, potatoes, um, that's basically it. Soy and bread, I do eat bread, we do make our own bread, it's just, just right, right now making here in, in the studio. Uh, it's been made uh, and um, the bread has two eggs and I would eat almost half a bread uh, daily. Uh, it's a small bread, but there's so, let's say, one egg daily. So I do eat one egg daily, if, if, if you wanna know. So that's not fully vegan diet so far. So there is one egg. And then lots of bananas, strawberries, apples, beetroot. Beetroot, actually bananas and beetroot, uh, I've been eating or drinking for some two, three months, a lot of it. Chia seeds with the beetroot, uh, then walnuts, a lot of them, cranberries, dried plums, love them, and garlic. I do eat like one piece of a garlic in the morning with my uh, sandwich and one in the evening usually. So two, two those little pieces of, uh, of garlic. I do eat that, no supplements, um, some, something about supplements uh, I'm gonna also t tell you uh, in another episode because I did some, some testing of my body and it was, the results were very interesting, very interesting. So that's something I'm gonna really focus on uh, a lot, but this is basically what I eat. I, I do drink a lot, since I went vegan, I, I drink less. I don't feel I, like I want to drink. Maybe because of those stra strawberries and the beetroot. Um, I've, I've been I've been drinking beetroot before, and I and I drank more water. More water. Now it's less water, uh, and that's it. I sleep very well. I've been always. I, I've never had problems with sleeping. Um, but energy and drive to do things. Oh, it's so much less. And that race showed me something was wrong uh, in, my, uh, in my body. One additional thing, uh, I do feel like I'm a bit swallow. I, I, difficult to, to explain, like in breathing, maybe also my, my nose, I feel like it's, it's like, like an allergy uh, kind of um, reaction because <clears throat> especially on that race, I felt that I felt that breathing was much more difficult, and after the race, uh, my lungs were hurting. Uh, if you know what it means uh, when you go for the first interval training after the winter, you go outside in, and it's cold there. You start breathing so deeply and 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 uh, intense breathing. Uh, then the lungs start to to um, to hurt, but it's only like first two, three trainings uh, in the season. I, I've never had such problem before. So after, after the race, in the middle of the season, in July, it was really surprising. So that was something uh, really strange. That's basically, that's what I, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm, I know first, uh, like those three, four weeks can be difficult. So we, we, we will see how it, how it goes. 
What should I add? What should I take? What should I test? What do you think about it? Did you also lose performance uh, when you went uh, vegan or vegetarian? Tell me, because uh, I just don't like it. It doesn't feel well at all and it feels like losing all that time and effort and money spent uh, on the training. So waiting for you there, down there in the comments. Thank you so much uh, for watching and I'm going to update you with what's happening with me and my training because I do have some, some high goals. I'm shooting for the stars, uh, but I'm also um, executing it. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching and see you soon.